God says that there is nothing that you can do that would make him love you more. There is also nothing you can do that would make him love you less. He loves you because he loves you, 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 because that is what he is like. It is his nature to love. And you will always be the beloved. And his love is unchanging. And he loves you a hundred percent. He won't love you any better when you become better. He loves you a hundred percent right now. And even if you have no plans to become better, he will still love you one hundred percent. Because he loves you because that's the way that he is. And even if you don't want to change, he will love you a hundred percent. Even if you have no plans to walk with Him, He will love you 100%. Because that's His nature. He loves all the way, all the time. His love is unchanging. What will change, says the Lord, is your ability to receive my love. And this evening, I want to cram some more of that ability inside you. So I challenge you, says the Lord, open your heart to me. Open your heart to me. And you will receive more of my love than you've ever experienced before. I dare you, says the Lord. Come on, open your heart to me. Give me your heart. Give me whatever your obstacle is. I'll take it. I'll remove it out of the way. Because I love you as you are right now. I love you 100% as you are right this moment. I love you as you are. So be loved. You are the beloved. It is your job, says the Lord, to be loved outrageously. It is why I chose you. That is why I set my love upon you. That you would live as one who is outrageously loved. That you would receive a radical love. So radical, it'll blow all your paradigms of what you think love is. And no, says the Lord, I will love you outrageously all the days of your life. 